been what's been going on with crude prices we saw a big uh, near three percent pop on crude prices overnight so manisha is here to fill us in with the details uh, manisha almost 83 dollars a barrel now Oh, well, yes, above that is how we're trading at this point in time, Pavitra. And this is even as the U.S. inventories uh, for crude surged by 19 million barrels. I mean, this is the third highest weekly gain that we've seen in U.S. crude inventories there. And this is the highest since Feb 2021 as well. That should have been bearish for prices, but that also means that because of the blizzard that we saw in the previous week and many of the oil pipes were frozen, you have more crude oil in hand and lesser crude products in hand. And that clearly has been supportive. Also, the decline in dollar index, which is just about holding 103 right now, has been supportive. The China demand estimates is what the markets are also working with. So all of that clearly has been supportive. And in any case, we were slightly oversold on the chart since we've been trading below $80 for some time. So some buying by the speculators and the allocations and sense of money in crude prices seems to have increased yet again. Okay, Manisha, thanks a lot for filling us in with all the details and telling us what's really going on with the oil prices. But with that, we're going to get into a short break on the show. On the other side, Tata Motors unveils over 20 new offerings at the auto 